What's going on, Slay Bays? It's Ashley, and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sitting down and playing with some makeup. I'm actually gonna be doing the makeup that I've been wearing in all of my talk through videos. It sounds very, very weird to say, but I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys and you guys have been saying you want me to recreate the look that I've been wearing in my past videos. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and do that. It's gonna be a little bit of a chit chat, but we'll see how things go. Sometimes I get really caught in the moment of doing my makeup that I forget to actually speak and update you guys on my life, but who knows, it may be a full blown life update. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button and while you're at it, click that bell so that way YouTube will notify you whenever I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that, I'm gonna zoom you super up close and personal so you can see all my blemishes, all my pores, and we can get started with the look. So let's go. Okay, you guys, we're really close. We're super close. A little HD. Not ready for it, but I am gonna start off with eye primer. You guys know I've been obsessed with this little guy right here. This is the Revolution Pro Eye Elements Eye Primer in the shade Core, spot on dupe for MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Definitely go pick it up, it's about $8. And I'm gonna use this to prime my eyelids. I'm just using this little brush right here from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. It's super cute, right? Yeah, I like it because it really just spreads the product very, very nice and even. So now that my eyes are nice and primed, I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow now. I was loving the Becky G Ola Chola palette for every single day, but you guys told me that it got discontinued, they stopped making it, they took it off their website, there was legal issues, I had no idea. So I do apologize because I kept using and recommending that palette in a series of videos already this year. So since then I did switch palettes and I switched over to using the Going Coconuts palette by ColourPop. I really like this. The only big difference between this one and the Ola Chola one is that this one leans slightly more cooler than that of the Becky G Ola Chola palette. That one had some warm tones in there so you could either create a cool tone eye look or you can do a very nice neutral or warm tone eyeshadow look but this one still is a very very beautiful. I've been using this one for every day and I've been specifically using just the mattes in the palette because there's something so beautiful about an all matte smoky eye. It's soft, it's sultry, it's everything I want in a makeup look right now. I've also been using using this palette right here. This is the Natural Nudes Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. I've been using the mattes within this palette. The only difference between this and the Going Coconuts one is that this one has some more warm tone shades in there so you can definitely warm up your eye look. But for the sake of keeping this video very affordable and replicating the same exact look I wore in my new Affordable Dupes video, I will be using the Going Coconuts palette because that is what I use. So I'm gonna take an M433 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Mix the bone colored shadow with the shade called love what is this lovely bunch so this one and this one I'm just gonna take my brush and dab it into the shades and I'm gonna rock this in my crease as my transitional shade and the reason I'm putting it in the bone colored shadow is because I don't want it to be too dark or too pigmented all at once so the bone colored shadow mixed in with the brown really tones things down a little bit so that's just like my thought process behind it. And I'm just going in big circular motions from outer to inner corner. Then whatever's left on the brush, I just like to take it all over my eyelid, just kind of blowing it out but not like packing the color on or anything then i'm gonna go in to the shade called shell yeah it is slightly warmer than lovely bunch and also deeper i'm just gonna use that same brush and i'm gonna start really focusing it right here in the outer v so as you can see i'm just patting it on the base of my lash line and then i'm flicking it inwards and really building up the color This is that makeup look that I always gravitate towards whenever I wanna look put together in a hurry. So I could literally do this makeup look in maybe about 30 minutes, like if I'm in a rush. But like if I'm in, I mean, I guess you wouldn't say I'm in a rush if I have 30 minutes to get ready, but to do my hair, my makeup, lashes, all of that, 30 minutes is relatively quick for me. I feel like that color really just takes this look to the next level. 
I don't know, it just like makes it that much more smoky. So I'm gonna continue. And this time I'm really just gonna kind of focus it on the base because I kind of want it to be deepest right here and then kind of slowly gradiate into more of a lighter shade. Also you guys, don't look at my eyebrows. My eyebrow girl couldn't even get me in until like the 15th or the 16th. One of the two, I know I'm getting my nails done on the 15th or I'm getting my brows done on the 15th. One of the two. They're gonna be really cute in the next few weeks. Just wait, wait for it. I'm gonna take a clean M433 and I'm just gonna run this right alongside the edges just to get more of a seamless blend and just kind of soften up the edges. I live for a good blown out smoky eye. I really do. I'm gonna pick up some of Lovely Bunge and I'm just gonna kind of buff that right above just to kind of bring that color up a little more. So at this point, I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna go into the shade called Shell Yeah. This is an M507 and I'm just gonna press it at the base and really just do exactly what I was saying before, just kind of intensify this lower area just so that way it has more of a gradient from very, very dark to light. Well, then I'm just gonna go in small circular motions and start to blend it out. So after smoking out my outer V area, I am gonna go in with just a little bit of the shade called Shredded, that bone colored shadow from within the palette. And what I like to do with this shade is I just like to take a little bit of it and pat it right here in like the very inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm not cutting my crease or anything like that. I'm really just taking a little bit of this right here in this area just because I want it to be a little bit brighter. You could definitely see that there's a difference between this eye and this eye. It's not a big difference, but it definitely is like a subtle difference. So I'm gonna continue just packing on a little bit more. I definitely don't want this to be like stark and harsh. So I'm just going in with a little bit and blending it in with the rest of the browns in the look. Then I'm just gonna take a brush like this and use it to blend all the shades together because we really want this to be more of a seamless blend and not so much of like harsh, dark lines. We're not doing a cut crease or anything like that. Like this is meant to be a very, very soft, blown out smoky eye. And I'm really loving how things are turning out so far. I am gonna go in with a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Muddy. It's a darker brown and I'm using just an angled brush. I'm gonna use this as liner. So I'm gonna take this close to my lash line and really just start building it up and this is just gonna be a lot softer than like liquid eyeliner or anything like that in this process I do get a little bit of fallout but it's not anything I'm too concerned with I'm gonna switch over to an M507 and with a little bit of that shade called muddy I'm going to just smoke it out you can even go in with like a crayon eyeliner and then put the shadow over top if you want your liner to be a little bit more intense. But today I don't think I'm gonna do that. So this right here is the gist of what I've been wearing on my eyes and like all of my talk through videos. I know it's very, very simple. So I'm sorry if I disappointed you, but maybe some of you will actually like the fact that it's very simple and user friendly. Also affordable, Going Coconuts by ColourPop. I will have it listed down below if you guys are interested in picking up that palette. It's definitely a staple in my collection and I definitely recommend it. Now let's move on to lashes. The lashes I've been wearing in almost every single one of my videos recently have been these right here by Lily Lashes. These are in the style Miami Flare. I really love them because they kind of flare out towards the end and they're very, very wispy in a sense. Now these are a little crusted and busted. They have been getting a lot of love, so I need to actually clean them, give them a bath. So in the meantime, I will be swapping them out for these lashes right here. Another style by Lily Lashes in the style Ella. So 
I'm going to pop these on. They're gonna complement the look really, really nice because these also flare out towards the ends and whoo, they're brand spanking new. So best believe they're gonna look incredible on the eyes. So let's move on to primer. I have been using this by Wet n Wild. This is the Primer Focus Primer Serum. It's brand new, not entirely sure how I feel about it. So I wanna continue using it and give you guys like my honest thoughts. It's very, very runny. It honestly kind of reminds me of like the Unicorn, the Unicorn Serum Primer by Farsali. So those are my initial thoughts. I also have eyeshadow all underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna kind of rub that away with my fingers. This is actually how I would do my makeup if I wasn't filming. So you guys are getting like a little glimpse into what I would actually do. So now that my eyes are done and the hardest part is out of the way, I definitely want to talk to you guys. I just wanna thank you guys for all the love you guys have been showing on my recent Instagram photos and such. Me and Bobito have been trying really, really hard to kind of step outside of the box and do like more fashion content because I feel like a lot of my posts and stuff on Instagram are like here, up. Like you really don't get to see any sort of fashion content or any like style expression And one of the biggest things I really wanted to focus on this year was self-love and self-expression through like fashion and stuff So we're actually going to New York for work and we're gonna be taking so many fashion posts I'm really really excited I've been trying to get like all of my outfits and stuff together and I've really been loving like the response you guys have been giving me over on Instagram so thank you guys so much it's definitely a little bit of an experience because we're still trying to like figure things out and figure out what works best and all of that but so far so good i also want to start doing more fashion stuff over on my channel so i want to do like ootds like outfits of the weeks also i want to do like hauls try on hauls things like that so definitely stay tuned we're still trying to figure out how to set that up and try to get a space situated just so that way we can film those kind of videos so be on the lookout I'm now gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Primer Canvas Primer. This is their blurring primer. And what I really love about this product here is that it's silicone free, but it's blurring. That blows my mind. I'm gonna take a little bit. I say a little bit, but realistically, like this is way more than I need. And I'm just gonna work it into this area right here because this is where I have a little bit more of like enlarged pores. By the way, the only other things I have on my skin right now, I have eye cream, I have a serum by Ulla Henriksen, the vitamin C one, so good. I also have on their moisturizer and sunscreen. So just wanted to put that out there. Do not skip your sunscreen no matter what. It's really going to help protect your skin from the UVA and UVB rays. You guys know I love this one so much. I purchased it on Amazon. I actually have an Amazon shop, so I will have that link down below in case you guys are interested in any of my Amazon favorites. Speaking of which, I do also wanna do like an Amazon favorites, but I'm not sure how you guys are gonna feel about it because I found so many hidden gems on Amazon. So let me know how you guys would feel about that down below in the comments. Moving on, I am gonna go in with foundation. I've been loving this one right here by Wet n Wild. This is their new dewy photo focus foundation. Spot on dupe for the NARS Longwear Foundation. So if you love that foundation, trust me when I tell you, you are going to love this one. By the way, I'm in the shade Golden Beige. Do you see my hands right now? And do you see my face? Like, <laughs> I'm so self tan right now. It's ridiculous. Like, I honestly don't even think that this is gonna be dark enough, but we're gonna roll with it today. And if we need to bronze, we'll bronze. But I'm just gonna kind of put this all over. I know it looks super messy, but it's gonna come together. I promise. Another thing I wanted to talk about was my hair because this has been such a huge change for me. Anytime I wear my hair like this, you guys are like, okay, do a hair tutorial. Let us know how you're doing your hair. And I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, but this is actually a faux pony. I say it so much on my Instagram stories and also in the comments of my pictures that it's a faux pony. For some reason, you guys think it's my actual hair and that my hair just grew overnight. It did not, it's a faux pony, but I do plan on doing more of a how I style my hair, like transitioning, because a lot of styles that I do are transitioning styles. Like I don't really love my hair 
when I do it in like a wash and go, it's very, very limp, but nonetheless, it's come very, very far. When I first started trying to do wash and goes, my hair would not curl at all, but we have a curl going, we have a wave going, like this part of my hair is so, so curly. It's so crazy. I just wish the rest of my hair would catch up, but I do know it is a journey and it's gonna take a while, so. Just bear with me. I am planning like a morning routine coming soon. And I'll also be, you know, doing a little bit of a hair tutorial and showing you guys how I do this little faux pony and all of that. So stay tuned. Whoo, do you see this coverage? Like girl, 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 girl. Still a little bit lighter than my hands, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get through it. I may go in with a little bit of a darker shade because I didn't realize how self tan I am. For those of you who may be curious as to which self tanner I use, I do use one from Bondi Sands. I will have it listed on the screen because I'm not entirely sure of the name, but it is so good, so good. Like it smells like a beach, you know, like. Oh, yes. Mm. This is great. I don't even know how to describe it, but it literally smells like the beach, but I'm not going to lie. In the middle of my sleep, when I turn over, I can smell it so clear and it's not the best smell when you're like half sleep. But it's something I have to get past because I love, love, love the color it gives me. So I'm going to keep doing it. It lasts for a good like four to five days before I reapply. Like I said, I am gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper shade. This here is medium dark. Like, do you see my hands? I'm a little dark. So I'm just gonna put this around the perimeter of my face and blend it inwards a little bit, but nothing crazy. Just so that way things match a little better. Okay, so what is next? You guys know what I forgot to do. I forgot to put on my color corrector. Literally had them right next to me and I just forgot to do it. Mm, what do I do? Do I just put it on? You know what, I'm just gonna go in with, with the orange shade, just right here because I need it. I really do. I was watching my physician's formula video back and I'm like, wow, like what a difference. Like I use a very lightweight under eye concealer and I also didn't use any color corrector and my under eyes looked terrible in that video. It was just not a cute look. So I cannot skip this step. I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend it out. I also realized in that video, that I need to use a full coverage concealer. Otherwise, it will look like I stayed up for like 100 days straight and did not get any sleep at all. <sighs> that was just a very eye-opening video for me to watch back. <laughs> okay, now that I have that concealer on, I'm gonna dab some right here because Lauren knows I need it. I'm gonna go in with actual concealer. Now, a concealer I've really been loving is this one right here, Jouer. What? A concealer I've been loving is this one right here by Jouer. This is their Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. And the shade I have here is Cream Cafe and also Custard. I also have another shade called Macadamia, but I have no idea what happened to it. It literally grew legs and walked away because it's not in my makeup drawer at all and I have no idea where it could be. But I'm gonna use this right here underneath my eye and I am gonna go in with a pretty heavy hand just because I do need to cover up that orange color corrector. Well, not orange, well, it's orange. It's actually dark peach, but you guys understand where I'm coming from. The shade I'm using is Custard. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit more of this second shade here called Creme Cafe because I think it's a little lighter than Custard. I'm also going to take this concealer on my chin and forehead just to add a little bit of light to the center of the face. Now with a clean elf sponge, I'm just going to use this to buff out that concealer. 
and I don't really want this to have such a stark harsh edge. I really just want it to be nice and smoked out. So after blending out that concealer, I'm gonna take a clean M441 and I'm just gonna really smoke out and diffuse this edge right here. Because like I said, I don't really want it to be stark at all. I want it to kind of blend into my concealer and I know that's weird because I never really do that, but it's a look, literally it's a look I've been doing a lot recently. I don't know, it just gives it a completely different effect. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set that under eye concealer with a little bit of loose powder. I will be using the Clap Set the Sage Soft Focus Powder here. And I'm only gonna use a little bit of this. I don't wanna go too crazy with the powder. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna look up and just press it into the skin. Again, don't wanna get too crazy with this. Just like that. I feel like when I put on too much powder, things just look very, very weird and strange and that's not really what I'm going for. I don't want my makeup to look strange, so. I'm really just taking this powder and pressing it in all the areas where I put that concealer. So pretty much like the center of my face and forehead. Another powder I have been so obsessed with is this one right here by Physicians Formula. This is a natural defense powder in the shade light. Now, I went into either Walgreens or CVS recently because I really wanted to get the one in medium, but the one in medium was so dark. I definitely feel like Physicians Formula really needs to work on their overall shade range for their complexion products because while they do offer really, really awesome some complexion products their shade range sucks like it sucks so bad so i'm so sorry if you guys can't actually find your perfect shade in any of their powders or foundations um this here is in the shade light like i said i do hope that they change that because i mean it's 2020 there's no reason why they shouldn't have at least 40 shades in their line I, i'm just being honest but anyways i'm taking this powder and i am pressing it underneath the eyes because this really brightens my under eye area like no other. By the way, I am using my Tati Beauty Blendiful. I really like it for powder, not so much to blend out any like cream products or liquid products, but that's just me personally. I really love the way it packs on the powder. It really gives me more of a full coverage effect. I know some of you were also asking me to do a video on the Blendiful, but I feel like there's so many videos out there on the Blendiful that there's really no point of me doing one. Like we really don't need another Blendiful video. <laughs> You know what I mean? I feel like everyone pretty much covered what it is, what it has to offer, and how it performs. So now since I am self-tan right now, I do need to go in with a deeper powder. This one here is by MAC. This is their mineralized skin finish in the shade medium golden. I actually used to use this to add like slight color to my face, like around the perimeter when I didn't want a bronze, but I'm actually gonna use this as face powder. And the brush I'm using is an E52 by Morphe. I would use my Blendiful, but I just like the way it applies with the brush a lot better, especially like the mineralized skin finish. I feel like I only like to use like puffs and stuff when when I really want to pack on coverage and in this case I don't really want to do that I really just want to set that foundation down and in place also after filming my physician's formula video I guess I didn't realize like how much I love a good matte finish all over my face even if I am wearing a dewy foundation, because here's the thing, when I wear a dewy foundation, but I set it down with a bunch of powder, it will slowly but surely get dewy throughout the day. And that's only because I live in Florida and it's pretty hot and humid. I can't get away with wearing a dewy foundation on its own without really setting it down because my foundation literally will slip and slide throughout the day. So many of you who also live in Florida always ask me how I'm able to actually wear so much makeup without it moving. And it's because I really set it down and in place. So that way it doesn't go anywhere at all. You know? So I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that powder. I love, love, love the finish. This gives my skin. As you can see, I have gone in with a ton of product, primer, foundation, concealer, loose powder, pressed powder, a mineralized skin finish and my skin looks incredible. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It doesn't look too heavy on the skin. It literally looks airbrushed, and that's what I love so much about all of these products in conjunction with each other. 
So let's actually finish off the lower lash line. I'm gonna go right back into the Going Coconuts palette and I'm gonna pick up the shade called Lovely Bunch and Shell Yeah. I'm gonna mix the two together and I'm just gonna push this closest to my lower lash line with a flat definer brush. I'm using a Morphe M432. After that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use the Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara by MAC. And I'm gonna coat my lashes in with the false lashes. You guys know I only like to really take the mascara towards the base. I don't coat it all the way through because I feel like it really, really ruins your lashes and it really lessens the lifespan on them. So I only take it at the base. And I'm also gonna take this mascara on my lower lashes just to kind of finish things off with the eyes like I know it was super super simple you guys but this is a look that's foolproof that's gonna look good with almost any and everything And because I love a good like nude waterline, I'm gonna take this pencil by NARS. This is the High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Rue Bonaparte. Probably butchering that, but it's their nude shade. So I went ahead and zoomed you out just for my own personal sanity and me needing to see like my whole entire face in order to like bronze and stuff because when I'm too close, sometimes I'm a little too close and I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and I'm going to bronze my skin. I'm using a MAC brush, but I wanna say Morphe has one very, very similar. I do prefer the MAC one just because the bristles are just like a little bit softer, but that's besides the point. I did wanna talk to you guys about fitness and working out and stuff like that. Ooh, that's a sign that I probably shouldn't be talking about it because I'm no fitness guru, but I have been working out very consistently since January 1st. So it's been almost like a month, like six weeks or so, I guess you can say. And I'm really happy with just how far I've come as far as like eating and working out and stuff like that. I recently joined a new gym. And what I love most about it is that they really hold you accountable in a sense that we have these, what are they called? I'm drawing a blank. We have these little sessions where we sit down and we actually talk to our coach and we dial into what we've been eating and stuff like that. They also have this in body like scale. So it does not only measure how much you weigh, but also your body fat, your muscle, how much water you're retaining and stuff like that. And it's really opened my eyes and really just given me a new perspective on weight loss because while the scale hasn't changed much, I'm down two pounds of body fat and two pounds of body fat is so much when you think about it and i've also gained 0.5 pounds of muscle which i'm really really happy about i feel so good when i wake up in the morning i just feel so much healthier when i put my clothes on i could also just feel it and just see it in my overall body granted the weight the number on the scale hasn't changed much but i'm just so much so much happier and I just wanted to express that to you guys because I have been doing these little Q&A's over on my Instagram stories so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram stories you definitely should because I do have a lot of mini conversations over there with you and a lot of you have been asking am I still working out will I be doing fitness vlogs again and I'm probably not gonna do fitness vlogs just because I did take you guys on that whole keto journey and then I kind of stopped. So it was very, very just like in the middle of things. So I don't wanna do that to you guys again. Honestly, the main thing I've been doing is I've really just been counting my calories and my macros, how much protein, carbs, and fat I'm consuming. And it's just been very, very easy and very foolproof. I don't ever feel like I'm starving myself or I'm missing out on much because me and Bobito, we still go out for from time to time, our favorite place to eat is Shaker and Peel here in Oldsmar. 
Okay, so it is such a good place to eat. I also love their drinks. The staff is incredible. So, you know, I still treat myself from time to time, but I'm still also watching what I eat. So like, let's say instead of going to Dairy Queen and getting like a medium sized blizzard, I actually buy these little small mini like skinny sandwiches that are like 100 calories and I'm satisfied. Like I'm not, I'm not really craving a thousand calorie ice creams, you know? I know one thing I really, really want to do like soon is an updated what I eat in a day because what I eat in a day has changed so much. Like recently, I feel like I've been eating like all the same things, but it has changed a lot since my last what I eat in a day video. So let me know if you guys would be open to me filming an updated version of that or if you guys want to see that at all. I'm just over here chiseling out my nose and going to town talking about how happy I am with where I'm at on my fitness journey, but... Let's move on, shall we? I am gonna go in with blush. Now a blush I've been using nonstop is this one right here by Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in the shade, we're going shopping. And I feel like it complements this look so nicely. So I'm gonna take a bigger of my Smashbox brush. This is a sheer powder. And I'm just gonna go to town and just smile and put it on my cheeks. I also briefly wanted to just touch on the whole home buying thing because a lot of you always ask me how we bought a house how we found a house what's our living situation and where are we at in the whole buying process a few months back when i first initially got approved for a loan to buy a home we took you guys along this kind of like home buying process where we saw a bunch of different houses we went through them and we were letting you know what we wanted what we didn't want it and at that point in time we really thought we wanted to do new construction and i was literally seconds away from signing off to buy that home, but I feel like I let a lot of people in on that whole experience and it really altered my end decision on whether or not I actually wanted to buy in that area because it was so far away from Tampa. So we didn't end up going through with that. Since then, we did change our search to Tampa area just so that we were a little bit closer to friends and family. It's been so much harder to find a home that I absolutely love in Tampa because I'm not gonna lie, I have very high standards. I feel like this is a really big investment for me. So if I'm gonna buy a home, I better fucking love it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like where we're at. We're still actively looking. Have we had much luck? No, but we're actually gonna go see a couple of houses tomorrow. So. I'm really hopeful, I have an open mind. I'm really just like at this point where I'm just like, I need to get a home and I need to get one fast, you know? So just a little update as far as like what's been happening, what we've been doing and all of that. I am gonna go in with highlight. Now this is a new highlighter that Too Faced just came out with. This is the Turn Up The Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palette. And what I love most about this is that this is kind of like that hourglass powder, like the Trio palette that was $64 this one right here in the middle, and then we have some like regular highlights. This one's more subtle. This one has like a little bit more glitter in it. So you really get to pick your finish with this product. The shade I'm using is medium because my skin self tan, so I need a little bit of a deeper shade, but normally I would go in with the shade of light in case any of you guys follow my shade recommendations for when I'm not self tanned. I'm gonna take a Luxie 660 brush and I'm gonna pick up the Soft Focus powder and I'm just gonna kind of put it right here on my cheek nothing too too crazy like i said i've really been into more of like a subtle highlight nothing too crazy i really love the way my skin looks like all matte now i'm going in with a little bit of the shade called glow and i'm just putting it right here on the apples of my cheeks all right, so that's about all I'm gonna do as far as highlight. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the shade called Glow, which is a little bit more of that subtle highlight, and I'm gonna pop it in the very inner corner as just a nice pop. Since the eyes are so matte, I just wanna add a little bit of shine in my inner corner. But yeah, you guys, that's kind of an update on our living situation. I know it's probably not what a lot of you guys wanted to hear, but trust me when I tell you, when we do buy a house, you guys will know about it. We'll be vlogging. You guys will get a home tour. If we need to do any renovations, we're gonna take you guys along that process. It's gonna be such an exciting time for both me and Ulysses. I say his name is Bobito, but his name is actually Ulysses. Say it with me, Ulysses. 
Okay, a lot of you guys get confused whenever I say that, but we are gonna take you guys on that journey. And at that time, I feel like that's when we will be able to fully start vlogging. Again, we really wanna start vlogging, but it's very, very hard when you live with so many other people. You don't really wanna get in anybody's way. You don't wanna invade anybody's space. You don't wanna record other people and stuff like that. And I feel like when you live with people, or other people you really just want to respect everyone's personal space which is why we've decided not to start vlogging until we get our own house in our own space just because it'll be a little bit more personal a little bit more intimate and then if people come over or if our family and stuff want to be in the vlogs they can be in the vlogs but for right now we feel like it's just best that we wait Okay, do you guys ever notice that whenever I get to talking about my life, I'm speaking like a million miles per hour and that's because I get so nervous when I start talking about myself because if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, then you know I'm very, very, very personal. I'm very to myself. I'm very much about makeup and makeup only and I don't really open up much just because that scares me. I've seen what it's done to other people on the internet and I'm just like, mm, not about that life. Let me put my walls up. Let me just do what I gotta do, talk about makeup and just be done with it. But recently I've been really wanting to open up a little bit more and just be a little bit more vulnerable just so that way I can get to know you and you guys can get to know me on a personal level because there's so much more to me than just makeup. And I know y'all wanna get to know that because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good time. I am. Let's finish things off with my lip combo. Now I've been wearing this lip combo in every single one of my Instagram photos and what feels like every single one of my YouTube videos. And the star of the show would definitely have to be my KKW Beauty lip liner in the shade two. Ugh, this is such a good lip liner. I probably love it even more than Stripped Down by MAC and that's such a big claim, but it is so good. I really love the shade. It's the perfect like warm nude lip liner definitely go snag it up. I feel like it is going fast. Like whenever I go into Ulta, either two or shade 1.5 is sold out because it's that good. So I can't talk and do lip liner clearly. So I'm just going to line my lips with this and kind of feather it in a little bit. Lip liner's on, I know I look like such a chola right now, but the next thing I'll do is I'll go in with a nude lipstick by KKW. I'm so obsessed with her nude lipsticks. I have four shades right here. I have shade two, three, 3.5, and four, but I've really been loving the shade two for more of like an ombre effect. So that's what I'm gonna go in with, and then we'll kind of decide if we wanna deepen it up a little bit more. So I don't think that this was a shade I was wearing in my affordable dupes video. I think it was a little bit darker. Yeah, so it was a little bit darker. I think I was wearing the shade three. So I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the shade three directly over top. And then at this point, I'll go back in with a lip liner and then just kind of blend. The last and final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of setting spray. This is one of my favorites. This is the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And honey, we are done. I hope you guys really loved today's video. I had a ton of fun just sitting down and talking to you guys and honestly, just recording this makeup look. I think it was funny because what really drove me to want to film this video was a comment from one of you that said, I love your makeup and I don't know what it is, but anytime you sit down and do a talking video, I love your makeup a million times better than like actual tutorials. And I want you guys to know that whenever I'm sitting down and filming like makeup tutorials, I try my best in every single one of those videos to make them different from my last because I never want you guys to get bored with the makeup looks I'm creating. But realistically, this is what I'm wearing on my face whenever I am wearing makeup 
makeup. I want things to be soft, subtle, smoky, but still put together. And this has just been my go-to look recently. So I hope you guys loved it. And if you guys want to see more videos just like this, let me know by dropping me a comment. Also like the video if you guys haven't already. It really, really helps me out. I don't think I have much else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.